her sister Shifa from uh, Oman, and she also asked about uh, sneezing. Why is it prescribed to tell the person who sneezed, Yarhamukumullah, or why is it prescribed for him to say, Alhamdulillah? In fact, first of all, let me quote the hadith which is collected by Imam al Bukhari in the cigar, in which the Prophet وسلم, said, In Allah, you hibbul aitas, wayakrahu at tathaub. Allah likes sneezing and he dislikes yawning. Yawning is from Satan. When the person yawns, Satan laughs at him and he mocks him. When the person sneezes, it causes disturbance in all the body parts and organs. You mentioned also the heart. So the person, as in the hadith of Sahih Imam Bukhari, if the person sneezes, he should say, Alhamdulillah. You got this from Allah. When you say, Alhamdulillah, thank you Allah, he said, then حَقٌ عَلَى كُلِّ مُسْلِمٍ سَمِعَهُ It becomes due on every Muslim who heard him saying Alhamdulillah upon sneezing to say يَرْحَمُكُمُ اللَّهِ Sahih Imam Muslim among the rights of a Muslim upon another Muslim is تَشْمِيتُ العاطس. The shamata in Arabic is a very interesting term. A shamata is to show, to show joy and delight at the grief of another. So what does it mean to do tashmeet to your Muslim brother? A shaitan, a shaitan who likes yawning and dislikes sneezing because sneezing for, uh, from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and yawning is from a shaitan. When the person who sneezes says, Alhamdulillah, then you say to him, Yarhamukumullah, so he, it's a double benefit that teases and bothers the shaitan a lot. So at tashmeet in this case, is to show the joy and the light at what bothers a shaitan and drives him crazy. There are a lot of medical researches with regards to what happens to the person when he sneezes and what happens to the heart, it stops and all of that. The hikmah from the religious point of view is that the Prophet وسلم, says, Allah likes that. Allah likes when a person sneezes to say Alhamdulillah. So we like to say it for this reason. And that's why when the Prophet وسلم, was sitting in the masjid once, two companions sneezed. One of them, the Prophet وسلم, turned to him and said, Yarhamukum Allah. And he neglected the other one. The one who was neglected was kind of upset. He came to the Prophet وسلم, and said, Ya Rasulullah, why did you do tashmeet? to him and you neglected me. He said because he said Alhamdulillah when he sneezed and you said it not. So it's only prescribed to say Yarhamukumullah, may Allah have mercy on you to the person who says Alhamdulillah upon sneezing. If he does not say it, we can still recommend for him to say it so that we can pray for him and say Yarhamukumullah.